Matane everyone, this is David, and this afternoon we are reviewing the 1144 Star winning Gundam. Um, now, spoiler alert, um, well I guess if you've seen both of these kits here, um, you've got to get that spoiler. Uh, it is a transforming mobile suit, um, which is kind of wonderful. And if you haven't already seen it, we did a talk recently on the significance of the Star winning Gundam and a lot of the various women throughout the Gundam series. Um, so, this is the Star Winning Gundam. We actually did two of them for a couple of reasons. First off, we both wanted to build one. Right. And second, because it is a sticker-intensive kit, I wanted to see what it would look like with stickers, and I wanted to see what it would look like with a little bit of minor detailing. So I did some Gundam marker work last night. Mm. Um, unfortunately, my panel line marker broke, so... We have to get you a new one. Yes, we'll have to get a new one. Okay, so, Star Winning Gundam. The default configuration is an SD model. It is like so. I'm not sure if it's coming up right on the cameras. Are they white and gold or blue and I black? think it's actually blue and black. Okay, all right. Um, so the... Um, In like five minutes, that won't make any sense to anybody. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> um, so this is the star winning and its default configuration. Now, a question that a lot of people have had is basically like the quality level of the, um, the shift um, up to the so-called HG or RG. Um, it's RG in the series, but it's actually closer to an HG. It is a little bit below your average HG kit. Yeah. Um, but that's mostly a function of the fact that it has to change out of an SD form. It feels like an SD kit. Yeah, it, it it's a quick build. It's pretty easy, but it's um, there's a lot of ingenuity in it. So here's the once over. Okay. Um, kawaii ne. Kawaii ne. Um, so basically, all of the additional parts that are needed to turn it into its bigger form are on the backpack. Mm -hmm. um, but it actually has four major configurations. Yes. Um, if you want to get technical, because the head becomes a um, core fighter. I can pop that off here. Um, basically, I mean, it, it becomes a core fighter. You take off the V-fin, pull that down. Voila, you have a core fighter. That is the easiest transformation that it makes. It just looks so goddamn pleased about the whole process. Yeah, it's very, very happy. Uh, there are actually stickers for four different expressions. True. It's got like a straight expression, it's got that one, and it's got shifty eyes going either way. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also the core booster form, which is basically the same thing, except you keep the body attached. Um, so I'm not actually going to do that at length because it's just the core booster with the body on the bottom acting as sort of thrusters. Now, here is our transformation to show you what it looks like. It's actually a little bit more complicated than I would have expected. It's not hard to do, but it is a little bit involved. A um, more clever than I expected. Yes, it is actually pretty clever. So you take off the V-fin and the backpack. Ah. The V-fin is actually pretty tight on there, which is cool. Okay, so the V-fin breaks off into two. Um, it's a big V-fin and a small V-fin. Mm -hmm. And then you take the face off. And then inside the face is a little face. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. And then you put the face back on. And then you put it down into its core fighter style configuration. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a little visor. Yes, it's got a little visor to hide the eyes, which is the one piece that in its SD form doesn't really have a good house. Yeah. Um, and in the HG form, there's actually two pieces that don't have a foam, and those suck because we actually lost them and had to go looking for them. Um, so there's our core fighter, um, which will become the primary backpack for the star winning in its um, big form. Okay, so that V-fin just goes straight on there, and it's a huge V-fin. Majestic. Majestic. Yeah, it's a big V-fin. Then we're going to pop off the torso. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take on the backpack, we have five pieces, or we actually have seven pieces. But So we disassemble those. And those are bits that are basically floating cannons in the um, series. Okay. Um, but okay, so this is the new torso. Mm -hmm. And you have to transform it by turning these little 
posts in Word. Mm -hmm. And then, easy to do. yeah, and then this part, I, I actually kind of like this. It pushes on there and then it slides forward to snap into place. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and stable. And then you put it right back on the bottom skirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the legs. You pop off the feet, mm -hmm. leaving the original legs. And then you take these. Oh. Did you turn these pieces? Um, no, actually. It does, uh, I'm looking at the instructions and I didn't see that as a thing. Now, let me double check that. Okay. No, you, no you, don't, you don't change them. Okay. Okay. But these slide on um, and they just got standard poly caps inside of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're a little, little imperfect, but they're they're not that bad actually. No. And then you put those. And there are straight bullets that have like legs that are weaker than that. Oh yeah, the lightning Gundam's legs are weaker than that. Yeah. Um, but that's that's pretty nice. Okay, so there you've got that. Now the arms. The arms are a little weird. Um, the weirdest part. They are they are weird. So on these, you actually have these connector pieces. These come off. Mm -hmm. And they do not actually have a home in the final build. So they will get lost. So you got to be careful with that if you're going to have it configured in that form. And so now you have these arm pieces. Um, these turn. And actually go back like so. Mm -hmm. And then they go up into that to, to form the arm. And then they slide up into the polycaps. Now that's the basic star winning. Um, then we take our core fighter and we pop that on the back. Uh, as it stands, it doesn't really balance very well because that core fighter is very heavy and it goes back very far. But you know, it, it is what it is. It's terribly. Like, yeah, it it's, can stand. it's not horrible. It's mm -hmm. not horrible. Um, and then these things will be um, side skirts. You can actually just pop them onto the side skirt there, or they can go on the back of the arms. And I'll explain how that works in just a second. Those arms are, a, yeah, they are a little weird. Um, but they'll they'll actually pop on there um, like shields, mm -hmm. um, and that is to facilitate adding the effects pieces. There's actually four effect pieces, um, two small and two large. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually pop these on here. And you can turn them into sort of beam shield things, um, or you can make them oh, asynchronous. Do one short, one long, and then you can have um, synchronous set of them. They look really sweet long. They, yeah, they do look nice. Um, but I'm going to pop these on the skirts actually for now. They do not stay great on the skirts. They don't actually stay great on the arms either. The, mm -hmm. One of the problems with the arms is the arm has a square hole there and the peg is round. Um, so they don't really stay very well in the arms either. Mm -hmm. um, that's a weird choice. I don't know. Um, the skirt could have bothered with like a polycap or something. But again, there's a lot of, a lot of minor sacrifices made for making it transformable. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to understand that. Now, these actually will snap into the legs. Ah. No, it's just got to slide into the slot there. There we go. And then, and so we got these huge energy spike things. They've got a almost Jim and the Holograms feel going on. And then the back of the arms get these other ones. Yeah. Now, um, he's not amazing at balance, but it's, it's actually not that bad. Um, 
it could be a lot worse in that regard. Um, some of the joints are a little bit loose. Um, that's going to happen. Um, but like the abdomen is really, uh, really secure and stable. Um, the arms and the legs will pop off if you're fussing with them a lot, but you know, that's just how it is. Uh, <laughs> like it's, it's not terrible. They will stay on um, with casual usage. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're posing them and stuff, expect to have to put them back on. Um, it's not a big deal. Now, this is the one with the stickers. So as you notice, the stickers aren't that bad. No. Um, they're actually pretty good as far as stickers go. As long uh, as you put them on in the right direction, which I did not do initially on some of them. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, they're, but there there are a lot, like all of the skirt effects and everything like that. Those are those are all stickers. Yeah. yeah. Um, which they don't necessarily look like stickers from most animals. So. No, no, no. And then its weapon is this right here, uh, which is a sword gun. Mm -hmm. Um. And it actually goes into a couple of configurations. David likes it. I think it's ugly. I think it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know what the other configuration is, and I'm too lazy to look it up. <laughs> um, but it basically turns into a sword gun or a sword bayonet thing. Um, so the sword gun turns into a sword. Is it, a nunchuck gun? it is not a nunchuck gun, no. Um, and so there's our star winning. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty fun build. Mm -hmm. um, it went pretty quick. Um, yeah. I think we both took about an hour and 10, an hour and 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I was painting mine at the time, so uh, it went it went pretty quick. And my preferences for just straight SDs, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know my build speed. Right but it takes it does take a couple minutes to transform, uh, but that's, you know, it's, it's a neat gimmick. It works. That's what really impressed me. It absolutely yeah, works. Yeah, it absolutely does exactly what it does in the TV show. I was show. really expecting there to be just a ton of extra pieces lying around, but it, it spares three, four pieces in total. Yeah. Between forms. So, so yeah. My, um, yeah, these pieces, these pieces will likely get lost if you're not paying attention. A um, couple of minor criticisms. Um, for one, the arms are not immensely stable. These things will pop out pretty easily. Yeah. Um, if you want to keep it in this configuration, though, you could just glue those in. There's no yeah. reason why not to. The hands are not HG hands. They are SD hands. Um, so they are well, gonna... they're, they're between. Yeah, they are somewhere in between, but they'll, they'll hold SD weapons. Yeah. Um, if you want to use bigger hands or smaller hands, like standard HG style hands. Um, you could do that, but you would probably have to um, fuss with it a little because the peg that puts those in is very small. Mm. Um, like here is our RG style hand. Mm. Um, that's not gonna go in there no matter, under any circumstance. <laughs> um, I guess if you took one of the rubbery, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I'm actually gonna experiment with that real quick. Dun, dun. Okay, so this is a, um, this is a polycap. Fucking okay, F7s. So my, um, my polycap experiment did not work. Um, it was too big, but there might be a smaller polycap that I could use. I just didn't have one offhand, and that's one of the extras um, that I had laying around from the kit. So anyway, um, the hands are not HG style hands, so you're not gonna be able to put in like HG style weapons. Uh, unless you find a workaround. Yeah, unless and if you, you do, drop it in the doobly doo. Yeah, specifically if you find out which, um, which polycap will fit it, because I, I've got some laying around and just don't have the time to bother with it. Mm. Um, so if you, if you do, um, drop us a comment. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty good kit. It's relatively poseable. Let me show you the articulation. Um, goes back 90 degrees on the legs. Um, nothing to write home about, nothing awful. The foot will go back as far as you want because it's on a toggle. Um, the arms do not go much at all. Do not go much at all. They go to <clears throat> about that angle, almost 90 degrees, not quite. Um, they will spin in place pretty much all the way, but they are ugly from some angles because they have hollow pieces. Yeah. Because SD pieces. Um, and the bottom of the hand is going to be similarly hollow. Unless you can replace the hand. Unless you can replace the hand, which is one of the <clears throat> first things that I'm going to experiment with. <laughs> um, it'll balance in most configurations just fine. Um, the polycaps in the feet are not the best. So it, it, will, it will balance. Um, we don't know why that is the qualifier as to what, when it will balance. Like why that pose always... Yeah, well, one leg is one of the easiest <laughs> things to do, like, right away. Mm. Now, if I can do that quick, it means it's a pretty good balance kit. Mm. So, anyway, um, and it's got, you know, it's got one weapon. It's 
of questionable integrity. I like it. She does not. I think the shield weapon things are more interesting. Yeah, the shields. Oh, yeah, I was going to show what those look like on one of the arms. And the way that those snap into the arms and legs, not very great. Or this, for that matter. It's weird. They um, they just sort of, like, fall into place. Um, and they, they do stay, but um, it's very imprecise. So anyway, there's that. Um, and then it pops onto the arm, like so. And then yeah. there we have an arm. So there it is. That's the star winning Gundam in its um, majestic spoilerific form. Mm. And um, I believe the I believe it retails for like twelve hundred yen. Mm. Um, definitely a good buy for yep. for twelve hundred yen. It's yep. wonderful. Um, it is. A little bit under your average HG, but it does the gimmick is really fun to play around with, um, and also because of this effect, there's going to be a lot of like holes and stuff on it. Um, so you've got your skirt holes and those leg holes, and I believe don't quote me on it just yet, but I believe that these are going to be standard holes. Yeah, those are standard holes that you can fit expansion kits pieces into. So you can armor. Yeah, so you can do, like, you know, a um, full armor, star winning, or whatever. <laughs> um, actually, thinking about that. Um, so what I feel like, because yeah. I do mostly SDs, I feel like this guy is to an SD what an MG is to an HG. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's definitely a so big it's, step it's, up there. It's a little step up. It's like, you know, you're going to, you sacrifice some things, including the time that you spend doing it. But if you want something that feels a little bit next step up from your normal SD builds, if that's your preference, this is a fun little thing. Yeah. <coughs> and I was just experimenting. Here's an HG weapon. Um, that one's not fitting into that hand. Mm. Um but then again, there's a lot of weapons for various SDs. So yes, there are. If you have and SDs, some of them actually look really cool. Yeah. Like if you look at like the Sinanju or the um, God, what do you call it? The um, the um, damn it, the Sazabi has some good weapons. Well, and they make SDs of most of the major leads. So like, there's yeah. a build burning Gundam lead. So anything that he would be holding in his hand, they're little. I don't know. He doesn't have any. So yeah. I guess but maybe the lightning gun them or whatever. Right? Yeah. Um, or you could, um, the Sengoku Astray the has Sengoku. katanas. Yeah, those would be really cute. Yeah. So, you know, you do have options. Mm -hmm. um, you do you can play around with it a little bit. I want to find a solution for that hand thing because um, it's going to drive me nuts. And but... you can always dig into the old, um, the, where the Sengoku comes from. The first Bill Fighters? No, the old... The oh, oh, the old ones. SD Mushas, the yeah. SD Mushas have adorable weapons and stuff yeah. that you can probably pull off of. Yeah. Naganatas and shit. Yeah. Um, it really, really, the problem is is that unlike an HG, the hand doesn't come apart. Yeah. Um, so you can't force it in there. Right. Um, it could fit stuff, but right. yeah. So if we come up with a solution for that, I might do a video for it. Mm. But there you go. Okay. There's the star winning Gundam and... Um, An important feminist icon. Yeah, yeah, um, it's one of the most important there. So um, if you have any recommendations, uh, requests, whatever, hit us up. Yep. Drop us a comment, yep. like us, subscribe, and matane. Matane.